Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel, and I'm very happy to say that today we're going to be rounding out a certain particular trio by way of this guy. That's right, the Insecticons for the Legacy line, finally completed with the addition of Legacy Evolution Bombshell, and he's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you are at it, light him up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton, and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that is in the description down below. Also in the description down below, and if you are in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, you can check us out on Patreon, you can see what we have to offer to you through Spring, or of course, you can hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. And this is one that I wasn't really sure what I thought of or how I felt about. Um, I was certainly, once I had kickback, uh, way back when, I knew that I was going to be in for the Insecticons. And when I saw this guy, I was very curious about a couple of things, namely, some of the color layout stuff and how much of him would be like new mold versus reused mold and how successful it would be. Won't lie, I did look at the, um, I guess the stock pictures and whatnot, and I feel like this part is too far down over his forehead. However, some people would argue that, and that is totally open for debate. Personally, I like to pull it up just a little bit more, but we'll talk about that when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And yes, we finally get around to rounding out the latest wave of deluxes for the Transformers Legacy Evolution line with the last of the Insecticons being Bombshell. And I say uh, the last of this wave because we've previously looked at Detritus, um, Strongarm, and Shadow Striker. Uh, which I, I, I like. I think it's been a fairly strong wave, to be perfectly honest with you. But before we can get into Bombshell here, we're going to have to take a look at that packaging first. And this is Bombshell's packaging in his uh, whatever sort of beetle he is. I thought it was a stag beetle, but I think it's something else. Um, but his beetle mode down here, robot mode over here, and a close-up of his face over there. Um, our usual Legacy Evolution stuff on this side of the packaging and on the back, of course, you see the uh, product images and the Evo Fusion nonsense, which really is just taking his main blaster and there's two like smaller pieces that I tend to just leave on his forearms, but you can put them on the side of the... You know what? Why don't I just show you the blaster and the Evo Fusion thing and you can see if you like it for yourself. And here's the blaster that comes with Bombshell. It's cast in gray and painted silver. You can probably see that the handle is still gray. These little black pieces, I usually just leave them under his forearm. They just, they just come off like this. They're really used for alt mode, kind of more than anything else, but they just went in on the side of the blaster. I don't want to leave them in there because inside this hole is painted, and I, I, I think, and I just as soon leave it silver. Um, it's a pretty good looking rendition, I guess, of his blaster, though I feel like this piece is supposed to be straight, not up and down, but hey, maybe it is supposed to be up and down. I can't really recall right now. Nevertheless, there you go, Evo Fusion. We've got instructions. They're all right, but there's one cardinal design flaw. I looked in the instructions. There's one cardinal thing that I wish was included with this guy that's not and we're going to get into looking at Bombshell now, and we're going to mention that first. Before I mention the thing that I wish was in the design that's not in the design, here we have a comparison between the, was it Titan's Return? Power of the Primes? I can't remember when the original score, um, Bombshell came out, and of course the Legacy one, much larger. I'll note now that this blaster and these hands are custom. This was a custom that was sent to me a long, long time ago. So it's slightly different than the um, kind of stock one. For the record, I do ha still have the stock one, um, but his torso is now painted red to match uh, Salvo, right? The character of Salvo. But you can see here uh, kind of the comparison. So just taking him out of it, 
because we don't need to leave him there. Here's the thing that bugs me. Here's the one thing that really kind of bugs me about this guy. So we have the blaster here in his hand, right? I've looked in the instructions and everything. The other two Insecticons have a hole here in the back where you can put the blaster in. This guy doesn't. I don't know if there's somewhere else that it can go other than his hand or under his arm, but I can't find it. Now, I suppose if you were really desperate and didn't want him to be holding it, you could always like put it there on his leg, but like that doesn't look good. You know, that's not good. Um, so that's that I think is a bit disappointing if you ask me. Let's get into scores for the guy. Okay, so all of that being said, let's get into the scores for this guy. First, we got to deal with the look of him. Um, and this is challenging because in Bug mode, he should be purple. In robot mode, his torso should be gray. I'm going to give a pass to the purple. I know that there's a third-party version that does the change somehow. I don't remember how. But I'm going to give this a pass, and I think the purple is the right choice to use so that it matches the other two Insecticons, which we'll see shortly. Uh, but... Obviously, since the robot is supposed to be gray, that's a little bit stylized. That said, the uh, yellow and amber at the uh, shoulders and like the center of his torso, as well as the gray detailing and the positioning of the Decepticon logo, all accurate. I don't know why we have black on the hips. The hips, thighs, pelvis, all of it should be gray. The lower legs should indeed be black. The feet should be black. The shoulders should be black. The forearms should be black. But the bicep shouldn't be gray. That should also be black, as well as the... Um, hands should be black and I feel like this should be up like just a little bit off of his head like I feel like it's just down a little too low but that's neither here nor there you definitely know that this is bombshell but it definitely has a couple of stylizations I'm gonna give it a eight for bombshell before we look at the articulation or do the transformation here he is with his two brethren and boy, does that trio look good, but I'm not going to lie, the, um, I don't know what you call these pieces, the pinchers of shrapnel just being left that stark gray is really disappointing. Very, very disappointing since everything else has a nice silver on it. Um, what a bummer, man. What a bummer. Nevertheless, overall, I do like the look of them, and they are a uniform with the same purples and whatnot. That was one of the issues I had with the Titans Return is that they use some different shades of colors across all three. I prefer a more unified look. Make of that what you will. Okay, let's do the articulation next. The head goes left, right. This piece can go all the way back if you really wanted to. The head doesn't go up or down. A little bit of a bummer, but not a deal breaker. Arm goes all the way around, out to the side. This can get out of your way, so you can get way up on the side, which is nice. Uh, bicep swivel, a little over 90 degrees at the elbow. The wrist can go in and out, but I don't think we have a wrist swivel. No, we don't seem to... I don't think we do. I think if I try to do that, I'm just going to pop it, and I'd rather not. Uh, we have a waist, very tight. Legs all the way forward. Legs all the way back. Um, and doing that T-pose, we can get the legs all the way out to the side. Feels like a soft ratchet, actually, out to the side on mine. Um, knee to 90 degrees. Thigh swivel, and... Ankle tilt. So really, like, most of what I could possibly want is here with this guy. I think he's pretty great, honestly, overall. So, that being said, uh, let's do the transformation. I'm going to give the articulation an overall score of wrist swivel would be nice. I'm going to say nine and a half. So he was, he was getting an eight. Now he has a nine and a half. You split those two, 8.75. Let's, let's do the transformation. We close this down over his head, and we straighten out the, I don't know, I don't know what you call that piece. We bring the arms down on the side, and I'm just going to kind of leave these out here for it. Now, we're going to fold in the wrists for now. We're going to bring out the feet, and we're going to open up the legs. Now, we rotate them at the waist. And we should be able to um, bring that piece up and should be able to bring uh, that piece up as well. Um, and then we should be able to put those together. Perfect. 
Uh, then we should be able to bring the arms up and that should tab in to a little slot on the underside here. This one up should tab into a little slot on the underside. Uh, I'm gonna lay him down and I just gotta find his blaster here. And put that in there and boom, in the end, here we have Bombshell in his bug mode. Very akin to the G1. I do need to tighten a couple of things up, but I could tell you now that when you pay a little more attention and take a little more time than I did right here, Honestly, I'm going to say his transformation is a 9. He was getting an 8.75. The guy is about an 8.75 to a 9. He's quite good. Not perfect, but quite good. And here we have all three of the Legacy Lads. This is the only guy who comes with these translucent pieces. I think that that was a rough idea. I think it was wise that they dropped it, to be honest with you. I don't think it was great. But he is obviously the most different, and he seems like the biggest. I'm just going to take him out for a second, because there's only one other thing worth noting. Um, the legs. I guess, like, the entire leg, the whole transformation of the legs is the same between these two. So the upper body is new, the arms and all of that are new. In fact, his flip under, his go to the side. But the... Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the waist, but certainly the thighs, I guess the hips and the lower legs and the feet, really, are the same sort of transformation. So if you know kind of what to do with the lower body for shrapnel, then you're going to find Bombshell quite easy. Yeah, Bombshell. Overall, I'm going to say he's about a 9. Solid entry for cluing up the Insecticons. I just wish he was able to put his blaster in his back. And here we are, and here he is. So, a couple of things uh, worth noting. I mean, the color is okay, but I do really wish that the few things that are sort of off were accurate. I don't know if I'm going to bother to paint it myself or not. I might. We'll see how, how you know, how I feel as time goes on. Um, but, you know, the biceps and the hands would be nice if they were black. Uh, I understand not having the gray uh, on the body, though there is a third-party version that does transition the gray and the uh, blue somehow. I can't remember what it is. And I feel like it's a little one like Magic Square, New Age, something like that. Nevertheless, for Mainline, I'm glad that they went with the purple because at least it pulls all of the Insecticons together. I do feel like that this needs to be back just a little bit. However, why is all this painted a beautiful silver and then we have just the matte gray on shrapnel. Um, I, I really wish that they had done the silver on that now that I see it on this guy and you know, um, it just looks more accurate, right? The articulation's great. The transformation is fairly simple. Harkens back to the original in a lot of ways. It, too, is pretty great. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the Insecticons. I'm happy with Bombshell. Overall, I think that they're a successful trio. What do you think about Bombshell and the Insecticon trio from the Legacy line? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Right size? Too big? Too small? How do you feel? I appreciate you guys coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you are in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, and of course, hit the join button at any given time to become a channel member. While you are at it, please hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us here on the channel, and especially don't forget that somehow, someway, each and every single solitary day, you right there, you do make a difference in the world, and I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights, at the stop motion premieres, or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.